Hello guys, my name is Databyte, and last episode, we found this snowy biome so that we could start building a new town to go with the sort of holiday season, but I'm gonna try to make sure it's not so festive that, you know, it's gonna be hard to watch these when it's not, you know, Christmas, New Year's time, or whatever you celebrate, you know, just during winter. I want to make it so you can watch this whatever time of year and not feel like you're watching it at the wrong time of year. So I'm going to try to mention Christmas, New Year's, all those holidays as little as I can because I want this to just be a build. So I set up a little thing, as you can see, to get us started um, with all the stuff we had. So I planted the dark oak tree, the oak tree. There are spruce trees everywhere, so I didn't bring any of those, and I didn't plant the birch trees because I don't have any use for them at the moment. Um, I've planted all my plants over there, as you can see. Uh, I put my bed on the ice. The reason why I put all the stuff over there on the ice is because I want to try to keep the snow where it is. And I don't want to have to wait for it to snow because I do want to be able to see pathways and stuff. But anyway, so I wanted to do some terraforming and stuff today and build the first house and plan some stuff out. So let's go ahead and get into that. Okay guys, that tree just grew, but I don't like those kind of trees because they're just so annoying to cut down. Anyway, so the reason why I brought the granite over here is because this is the block that I use to plan everything out. So hopefully this will be enough to get us started planning. And then yeah, I brought 64 bone blocks. This seems like it might be a flex, especially since I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but build an iron farm and iron isn't that hard to get. There's a link to the video where I built my iron farm. It's actually a pretty easy design. Um, I brought some coal and I brought some saplings. Okay, so we need this granite. So we're gonna start today off with planning. We're gonna plan some stuff that we want. Now we want to put our first house up there, but the first thing I want to do, I think I want to go ahead and either plan some things to terraform or start terraforming. And I don't actually have that much dirt, but dirt is actually infinite. But the thing is, I don't have any gravel with me, so the dirt isn't that infinite. Also, the one thing that's going to make it so I have to go back to my original town is healing up my tools. So maybe we'll be able to find a dungeon or something that we can use over here. There might actually be one in a mountain over there because I was hearing zombies like everywhere over there. It actually was in last video. I briefly mentioned it saying something about I don't know why there were so many zombie noises coming from the mountain, but I wasn't going to check inside of it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to do, I know that I want to make it so that this isn't just some little body of water. I want to turn it into an actual river so let me get up on here okay I'm up on here these are temporary obviously so that will eventually go and that um but let's see I want to try to connect up some water so there's like a thing right there and a thing right there a dangerous hole I haven't looked in there and that so I'm thinking I want to build a house probably right there at some point so have it twist around right there maybe cover up the hole with it and then twist around up there and either go right through there or right through there we'll plan it as we go okay so let me just place some granite down as an outline to show where i want it to go and then we can just tweak that until it seems good and then that will show where i want this river to be yeah i'm gonna go ahead and cut to when i've laid that outline out Okay guys, I've gone ahead and laid out an outline for what I want this river to look like and it comes from right over there. Um, I haven't planned it further than that point right there, but it comes from right there over here, bends around here, um, curves right here, goes into this, and then it comes around right over here like this, but you can't see it because of those trees. See, it comes right there. And then it comes right here, curves that way, which now that I think about it, I should probably make it so that it comes straight like that instead of curving uphill because that actually that's not uphill. Okay, maybe that does make sense. Then it goes over there and curves right there into that right there. And then it goes right there and there's a river over there that I connected it to. So yeah, that's what the river is probably gonna end up looking like, but um, that took a lot of granite. So um, I should probably go ahead and carve out this river right now because I kind of need the granite back. But before we do that, I'm sure you're asking yourself, how is dirt infinite? Well, let me go ahead and show you so that you know. Um, So it takes two gravel. So, I'm sure you're wondering what I mean by infinite dirt, and when I say infinite dirt, I actually mean dirt is infinite. It takes two gravel and two pieces of dirt, and you just make some chorus dirt, and it gets four chorus dirt. Now, I know what you're thinking, but that's chorus dirt. Well, if you do this, and then you take a hoe, and do this to the chorus dirt, look, I just turned two pieces of dirt 
into four pieces of dirt without digging dirt. See, I have four more dirt now. That's how you make infinite dirt. Now, the thing is, I didn't bring my gravel with me, so it's not a super good way to get infinite dirt for me. But yeah, that's how you make infinite dirt. And I think it's probably really good for the environment because I'm not a guy who can just dig out the environment and be like, it's okay. For some reason, I have a hard time doing that because I feel like I'm ruining inspiration for myself. So I don't like to dig out the environment unless I'm terraforming. Okay, guys, I was just exploring around a little bit to see if there was any patches of gravel that I could dig up that wouldn't really affect the, like, surface or anything that I was going to build at. And I found this. Oh, what? Oh, that scared me. Um, okay, well, now I know what kind of dungeon it is. Um, yeah, I just barely found this, and I was like, I gotta record this, because, like, this world is just way too lucky. Also, this one's in a hole again, and it's even closer to the surface than the last one. Now we have a way to get XP at least. Um, I don't know if I want to build another one of those right now though. Okay, what's in this? Okay, string, that's not bad. Bones, pumpkin seeds, more string, gunpowder, redstone. Okay, that isn't bad. Okay, just dig up that chest because it would be useful. Okay, so now we have another one of these. I was really hoping this would be a spider spawner, but it's not. So... Yeah. Okay, so if we decide to turn that thing into an XP grinder sooner than later, we might not have to go back at all because I can just use it instead of going back. So let me put some of this stuff away now. Okay, guys, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and dig out this river so that it's there so that we can get more dirt and then I'll terraform this with the amount of dirt I have. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to do to get dirt right now. So I'm going to go ahead and time lapse that, I think, because it should take a little bit and it should be a pretty good time lapse. So let's go ahead and start that time lapse now. <laughs> That took me way longer than I actually thought it would, so I didn't do any terraforming. I just did the river, which is terraforming, but I mean like terraforming the ground, not a river. But yeah, we were only able to actually do like half of this. See, I still have that over there to do. But yeah, that took way longer than I thought it would, so that's why we didn't get to that. Um. So yeah, do you guys think that I should make it so that this river and that and just the water doesn't freeze do you think i should do that because in cold places when you have a big body of water it doesn't usually freeze okay guys i meant to say it doesn't always freeze because there are big bodies of water that do freeze um yeah so i was thinking it might look better if we make it so this water isn't frozen because i just think it might make it look better so i was wondering what you guys would think about that should i try to make it so it doesn't freeze or should I leave it frozen? So yeah, now we gotta go ahead and move on to something else real quick. So let's go ahead and do that now. 
Okay, so guys, I actually did find a place by accident where we can get gravel from, and it's literally just right over here. Right here, there's this little opening that's two by two, and actually, I found it because I accidentally fell in here because this is up here. Um, I'm gonna cover this up at some point, but yeah, so if we go in this, um, this is kind of dangerous because it might freeze over and I might drown. Um, but yeah, if we go under here, there's gravel, and we can just probably go ahead and dig this up. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and collect all of this, I guess. Okay, so there's also some granite right here, but I gotta be careful with what I dig up, because we don't have a proper XP grinder here at the moment, and I don't want to have to go all the way back to the original village to fix up tools and stuff. So, we got this much gravel, so let's go ahead and put this away. Okay, here we go, putting the gravel away, and there we go. Okay, also we got a melon and pumpkin grown, so... Yeah, I thought I'd just say that, it really doesn't mean anything. Okay guys, so, I think we should do a little bit more planning now, um, not for rivers, just for the town. So, I said I was gonna build the first house up there, but... I actually think it would be easier if I build the first house down here. We still will build a house up there, but I just want to build the first one down here on this little flat plane sort of thing. I think I just realized something. I should probably raise this up one block because see how this is raised up one block? If we bring it out, it might make it look good. I mean, like, I do have a good amount of dirt now. It's not enough to do a huge area, but we could do some. You know, the nice thing about snow is that I can just dig it. Oops. But yeah, I can dig it, and it's like planning without even trying that hard. Because then I can go up high and see what it would look like, possibly. And if it looks good, then I can continue with it. But yeah, it's like a really good thing for like planning. So it's really nice. But that's kind of what it would look like. I'm thinking I want to make that a little bit wider down there and maybe connect it more right there. But I think that will actually work. The bad thing is, though, I would have to fill that up before I made a house. So it's not ideal, but... I gotta do that first, and I don't have the dirt for it. Let me shape this a little bit better, and then I'll come back. Okay, guys, I just got that placed in, and that, I think, is honestly gonna look really good. And I wanna fill it in, but I don't have the dirt. Like, I'm sure. Even if I do that, I don't think I'll have the dirt. Anyway, yeah, I wanna fill that in really badly, but... I don't think I should right now. I don't think it would be the best use of my dirt. So I'm going to leave it for the moment. And yeah, I'm going to actually start planning the village. So let's get some stuff placed down to show where houses and paths are. Okay, so guys, some ideas that are going through my head right now. I could fix it up right there, get rid of that. And a diagonal house could go right there, which would be interesting. I've never tried a diagonal house before. But I'm excited to try one. So yeah, I think I'm going to put a diagonal house right there. But I don't know if that's the best thing to start off with. Because it might be kind of hard to build. Because I've never even tried one before. Let alone tried this style I'm about to try. Um, so I probably shouldn't do that one just yet. Something might be good right there. I'm not completely sure. We might be terraforming that. Something right there will work. But we kind of need to place in dirt. Up there, I just have to do a little bit of terraforming and fixing up. And then we can put a house up there. Um... Over there, I'm just not thinking about right now because it has a lot of terraforming that needs to be done. Let's go ahead and start laying things down with the minimal amount of granite I have. Okay, guys, I've gone ahead and put two layouts of houses down. One right there and one right here. That's the diagonal house. And this one is the one that's going to go on top of this dirt that we're about to place at some point. I don't know when we're going to actually place it. But these are two houses, and neither one I want to build right now because that one's diagonal, and I've never tried diagonal before, and I've never tried this style before. And that one I can't build right now because the dirt. And that one up there, which I haven't placed in a layout for yet, is probably the one that I'm going to have to build right now. So I should probably go ahead and start fixing it up up there. I am running out of dirt, so I should probably go ahead and do that gravel thing now. But yeah, I think I'm going to build the first house up there. Okay, so guys, the first thing that we're going to have to do with this hill thing is terraform it to make it so that there's actually a way up it and to make it so that it looks nicer. I got to think about this a little bit for the terraforming. Um, I'm not completely sure what to do, but I think I want to get rid of that and just make it more of a hill probably. So I actually replicate that maybe right here. And then I also want to be able to make it so there's a pathway that goes up it at some point that's kind of steep. 
but not super steep. We're gonna need more dirt for this most likely, so I should probably do that gravel thing. But yeah, we don't have to start with the dirt. We could just go ahead and clear out the trees from up there, which I'm thinking that's probably what we should do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and hope that my ax and stuff just isn't gonna lose a whole lot of durability doing it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this because this deserves a time lapse. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start that time lapse now. Okay guys, here I am back on my little planning hill or something like that. I don't know what to call it. I just, every time I want to plan something or look at this place, I just come up to this hill. So might as well call it a planning hill, right? Anyway, so we got that hill over there done. Uh, we laid out the house that's going to go on top of it. We put in the dirt over there where we just planned that stuff and we put snow on it, but not all the way. And yeah, now there's three houses here that are planned. Yeah, we just finished that hill and... That house over there that I have planned. As you can see, the planning is kind of wonky, but it actually will work. Anyway, let me go ahead and show you the layout for the first house. So, looking back at what we've done so far in the episode, we've gotten a lot done today. We started this episode with laying out that river, and we got half of it done. And we laid out some houses and did some terraforming. Um, actually, it's probably a lot of terraforming, because it took me a while to do the terraforming. But yeah, we did the terraforming stuff too, which actually the river could be considered terraforming. But unfortunately, I've run out of time once again, and I still haven't built this house behind me me which makes me feel kind of bad because I feel like I'm ending an episode the same way I did the last time even though it's different and we've gotten a lot of work done it still feels like I'm ending it the same way because I still haven't gotten this house built but next episode we're gonna go ahead and build this house super close to the beginning so that we can make sure I get it done I don't know if I'm gonna finish it in the beginning but I will start it I split my builds up into two parts. When it's a house, I split it into the body and the roof. I have like different mindsets when I build each. And I usually don't build each one right after the other. But yeah, so it's getting kind of dark and I need to sleep to make sure mobs don't spawn. So thank you for watching.
So yeah, guys, that is the beginning of this new town. I'm really excited to start building the buildings. And also, during the second time lapse, that pillager captain, I have no idea what was going on. I was holding my shield up, and the arrows were going back at him, but they wouldn't actually hit him for some reason. I don't know why. Like, they were on the block and going through him, but they wouldn't hit him. Anyway, yeah, thank you for watching.